Here we are in Sitka Chamber. It is Wednesday, the 17th of April, 2024. Some five years after the last bit of my video diary. And um, that's a long while. To be fair, for a couple of those years, we weren't allowed to go anywhere for global reasons. And since then, it's taken a while to get back into a position when we can really dig in the cave. But we are there now. And as we see around here, things have changed a bit since the last update. We've got a significant earthwork here. The Guggenheim Wall, Guggenheim Enclosure, that started back in February, March 2023. And all the associated floor rating that has gone on to, for these terraces, and in fact the grating that we walk over to go into the addition. Um, there's an awful lot of spoil that has been deposited here, and as you can see, there's space for a set of more cubes. And the problem, as always, that we've had with greed is that half of the battle has been draining the water from the chocolate vats before you can get anywhere near the dig. And then we've had the problem of water inundation in the dig because you're digging downhill and you can create your own sun. But these have now been solved because Michael Berryman has very industriously managed to drain the chocolate baths and there's a grilling place there such that they drain themselves. And with the team effort of changing the carriageway uh, profile, they now drain. And he has now come up with a ingenious plan of using an electric bilge pump to pump out the dig itself. And we can see that we can see the effects of that later. And uh, this means we can dig in the conventional way. There's still the standard landmarks here. Here we can see the miner's boot chamber or enclosure. And as you see, that used to be the floor level, but it's now about a metre further down. Uh, there is, looking round to the left, towards John Clark's passage. Is it John Clark? Young Clark. Young Clark, I beg your pardon. There's been uh, efforts there to prepare it so that it could be gated to protect the archaeology, which of course is trace archaeology. It's not solid. It's just traces that could easily be, could be damaged um, by careless hands. And so if this became a more popular cave, the efforts are there so that it could be gated with suitable access controls so that um, that's protected. Let's go and have a look at the dig. Okay. Some very pretty formations up here in the roof in Sitkut. I say the roof because the roof, of course, is coming down to greet us a bit now with uh, all our efforts. So we have the chocolate, what was the, the chocolate bath drain away, which has now been very skillfully dug down to a successful drain by uh, Michael and the grill is on. And so everything from behind me along that used to be uh, a watery crawl is now just uh, a pleasurable carriageway. And just looking back, there's Chris along the uh, passageway, actually. And there's been carriageway widening here uh, to make it much less of a grooved track for uh, dragging kibbles and, in fact, bags of spoil. Back to Sitka. Uh, you have the patience of a saint, Andy. Well, at once every five. Right, here we are at uh, HH. Um, here we can see the impressive pile of spoil that was actually brought out yesterday. This is the 
clay collapse that the later that the last um, persuasive effort managed to create, uh, as well as the persuasive effort to uh, spoil from the dick face. And it's made HH a fairly cramped environment. Um, with in addition, we've got the super big air cylinder, which we brought in yesterday in case we were going to need it, but actually didn't need it at all. Um, but we'll carry it down with us today because we're going to do a little bit of filming down there to see the new water drainage facilities and the dig. And then we're going to have a poke around at the floor to uh, see what we can get. And just fulfilling the promise that we made to uh, Steve Dowden, who said he wanted plenty of work left for him for the 5th of May. Well, there it is. There's plenty to be going on with there, Steve. Enjoy. 50 bags. 50 bags. 50 bags to go to Sidcote. Camera recording. Sound recorder recording. Sound synchronization. Okay, so here along the dig passage, looking back towards the Mona Dam, Chris is there with the Super Bertha uh, gas cylinder for our air, breathing air, I should say. Um, from the last persuasive dig, we had an overpressure that went up into the vaulted roof, and as we see here, the where I'm actually sitting, a large amount of wet clay came down and was on the floor and that was the subject of yesterday's mammoth clearing effort which we saw back up at HH. Um, so let's actually look forward towards the dig itself if I can move around because we don't have a lot of space. The calcite dam has gone from behind where we just took that shot and Michael's ingenious it would seem electrical bilge pump has taken the water down to a very manageable level. Looks to be plenty of water in the dig here now, but it was considerably higher. And so, if we go along, I'm sure not to disturb too much. Um, you can see there's still a bit of water in here. And then along to the front itself, Like the jar, there's been several persuasive efforts to widen the carriageway out here to the right hand side and you can see that we can poke ahead, the vaulted roof is coming down and we can, we're going to try and dig out the floor with a team effort tomorrow, shift a bit more back to HH. And that should be should be a good day. Um, we want to try and go down, but of course we've got the constant battle against the river. Uh, just get a couple more extra shots. Looking around at the dig. There we are. That's progress so far. We want to keep going in this direction. Turn around. Well done backing out of there, Randy. And since we've got clean lens, here's the one inch, is it inch, inch and a half uh, diameter, or well, probably one inch diameter internal hose um, that we use with the bilge pump, submerged more or less where I'm sitting, sitting up to my backside in, uh, in uh, warm water. And Looking back along here to where we used to collect water, but uh, now it goes straight away to the elephant trap, which is at the base of the climb down after the Mona Dam. So we're back to a dig, an honest dig. We no longer have to fight with the water. End recording.
good. Very good. I'm just going to get... <laughs> you did welcome here at an air breakfast.